Right, so this is my new attachment made for my homemade tool post here. You saw me taking the tool post drill off at the beginning of the video. And I made um, this one for it some time ago, an ER40 collet chuck um, tool which goes in the tool post so that I can do slitting saw work or milling um, on the lathe. This here is a diamond lapping table and it's adjustable so I can get um, any angle that I uh, require using one of these um, diamond lapping cup wheels. It's made of bright mild steel solid bar and I've blackened it by um, heating it up nearly red hot and immersing it in um, old engine oil. Gives a really nice finish on there and a rust protective finish. I've made the table nice and solid out of a piece of 8mm thick um, mild steel plate and bolted it on the underside of that bar there on a flat that I cut with a um, fly cutting tool um, on the lathe. You saw that maybe on the last video. Bolted on with um, two 8mm um, Allen bolts. I've left the table nice and long so that I have plenty of movement or um, space so that I can actually lap each side of the tools and do a radius and I'm really pleased the way it's turned out. I put this one um, in the tool post here instead of using the locking screws on the um, left hand side of the tool post like I, I used for locking in the other um, the tool post drill and that's so that I can actually quickly loosen that off and alter the angle for whatever angle I'm putting on the tool or lapping on the tool. At the moment I use a protractor to set the angle but at a later day I shall put a um, dial on here so that I can actually turn it by degrees and um, do it that way. I got this diamond lapping wheel, cup wheel, um, on eBay some time ago and I used it on my Chinese mini lathe um, lapping setup that I made. You may have seen that one. Um, I've since found some excellent cup wheels on Vanguard made of heavy steel and they have a nice thick uh, diamond uh, rim here. Nice wide um, lapping surface. The hole in the centre there is um, 20 millimetre, so it's a bit smaller hole than this one here. So I'll have to make up a new arbor to hold this one. You can get these in various different grits. I've got 100 and 320. 320 is the finest one for the finished lapping. I used a spray oil on these rather than paraffin, um, which works excellently. And um, like I said, it's a really well made tool, so I'll put a link below for those. Now, when you see um, diamond lapping wheels in the industrial setting, you'll see that they uh, run at a very high speed. My um, speed on the, or the top speed on my MyFed ML7 is 1075 with the VFD, but it's perfectly adequate, and I get um, really good uh, lapping on these tools using that speed.
and that's the radius down. And if I want to lap the top of the toll, I can actually wind the table right across. And I've set the angle for that. And then put the machine in reverse. And you can see there that when I'm doing lapping on the lathe, I put my wooden board there to actually protect the ways and um, stop anything from dropping on the uh, ways. Also for an uh, um, extra safety thing on this table, because it's uh, quite heavy and when it's loosened off, it could drop down very easily. Just as a safeguard, I've um, used a bit of contact adhesive and I've glued a bit of um, thick, dense foam on the underside there, like that. And now if I actually um, let go of that one and it dropped down, it would just bounce on that. So that saves anything from getting damaged. And like you saw at the beginning, it's very quick and easy to actually put this fixture up on the lathe and it's also quick and easy to take down. And just before I finish, I'd just like to show a bit of an update on the tool post milling drilling fixture that I made for this tool post. When I made this one, uh, I bought this um, collet chuck, which is an ER20. And it's got a 20 mil spindle so i chose the tapered roller bearings to suit that one i've since found that you can actually get an er25 collet chuck with a 20 mil spindle so you have the choice of the um, two different collet chucks you can use in this one i'm keeping both this one's obviously good for getting into confined spaces or closer to the chuck when milling this one can use larger diameter collets, so I can use larger diameter end mill bits. So it makes the tool all the more versatile.